Hello everybody. Tonight I was going to work on studying business in Bali, Indonesia. Um, we're going to primarily use this map. It's called Wikimapia. Um, it really shows uh, primarily just the businesses um, in um, on a map. Um, unfortunately, it was really funny. I tried to do a little discussion earlier tonight on Bali and it kind of, I forgot to do the sound. So I do see the sound is finally working which is great. So um, so how, what all is going on here? Um, so there's a number of different diagrams that I have here. Um, some are kind of more interesting than others. Um, and basically it all kind of shows mostly near Kuta Beach uh, and some other areas as well as this bar. So kind of looking at what's going on in the traffic, um, we kind of want to go through here and just see basically what is all going on in Bali. So if you're interested, uh, stick with me here and we'll try to discuss all the details. Um, it'll probably be pretty surprising what we will discover. Um, so I wanted to kind of go in and just see. I think the first one probably to start with would be this one. Um, this one was the most interesting, or one of the more interesting ones, as well as the Dunspar one was really interesting. Um, but uh, basically what you can see here is that, um, let's do this, earth.google.com, let's let that load up while we're waiting. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is zoom in here and kind of put the pieces of the puzzle together about where everything is happening in Bali. And actually, this is a great map. I should have used this one. I'm surprised I didn't grab this one originally, but it's just, uh, let me grab a screenshot of this one here. So this is probably the best map, actually. We didn't grab it originally. Um, so that one is this one right here, and I'll load that up in a second here. Oops, where is it? Uh huh. Here we go. So um, the reason this one's so great um, is it kind of shows these central business districts, and we can highlight them here. So we got one here, we got another one here, and then we got another one here, um, kind of on the south side. And then we have I want to put these in green because they're more beachy. Um, and then there's this whole district over here, um, and then there's the beach district, which we'll put in bright blue. Um, basically along here. So I wanted to start with that. Um, and actually, some of the really interesting stuff, I was just surprised because it is hard to find uh, affordable housing even in Bali these days, and it's getting uh, to be more and more expensive. And so some of the areas further and further out actually become pretty interesting alternatives um, to the main stuff that you might be thinking about. Um, but basically, uh, let's try to go into this whole discussion here. Let's see if the Google Earth has loaded up. Um, so basically, Bali's down in here. Um, and we're going to try to do some street view um, as we zoom in here. Um, you can see it's kind of a weird island. It's really located really off, just off the tip. It almost looks like it's connected to Java, but it's just really close <clears throat> right in there. Um, and the tides are extremely strong um, because uh, what happens here is that it actually pulls through these tiny little holes and the moon will come across the surface of the earth and pull the tide either this way or that way, depending on where the moon is located and also the sun, obviously. Um, but um, we're basically talking about this section down in here. Um, I probably should have grabbed a population map too. Um, I think I diagrammed that out um, previously. Let me pause this and grab the population map. So, hey, I'm back, sorry about that. Um, so as you can see, there's definitely some knowledge to be uh, thought about outside of Bali, particularly on this eastern side. Um, so we're not gonna get too much into this, but definitely um, if we are to look at this in more detail, I would say the really more local businesses are probably gonna be on the outsides here. And then you're gonna find more of the international uh, foreigners, part, partly foreign owned, 
uh, businesses may be located near downtown. Um, so, and then as you get further and further out, there's actually even this guy out here, which I probably should have circled. I'm gonna circle him as yellow as well. And then even this guy should probably be circled, but we'll leave him uncircled for now. So what's going on in this map? Um, so let's try to find this road here on this map um, because, and there's also this road over here and just kind of cruise down it on street view to see what's going on. Let's look at a couple of these major intersections and kind of see uh, if we can find uh, what's going on here in Bali. Um, so to zoom in here, we have to kind of zoom in here and see by the airport. Um, and we're basically looking for that little section right in there. So let's look here and zoom in here to see where we got. A little bit easier to find it on this map here. So here, um, this is actually pretty good too. So we could probably diagram this one out really quickly just because it's a bigger map. Um, and it really helps to kind of define. I try to zoom in as closely as possible just because I wanted to um, really look at the details carefully, um, but it does help to kind of look at the big picture first. Um, so I'm gonna grab that one and we'll open that up here in just a second. So on this map, we can basically start to see a little bit more. I'm gonna do the red to be kind of the super vital uh, pathway. So there's definitely a spot right in here that we definitely need to look at. And then a couple roads, this is right where, so Kuda Beach is right here, essentially, and there's this kind of split right there. And then there's kind of these other sections up in here with businesses, kind of on this side. And then let's just do an airport side with yellow. I think that makes it a little bit more clearly defined. And there's probably even back in through there. Um, and there's kind of some weird ones. Uh, let's do light blue right through here, right? And then there's a split off that goes here, this direction, which we could do uh, green, because this is kind of, so we basically have this back path here, and then we have this path here, right? And then we got this whole path coming up through here. Um, so that pretty much defines most of the beach area, right? Um, so we really wanna look right in here and see in that red zone, what's going on, and then kinda go to the blue zone and the yellow zone, and then kinda do a little check on this. Um, so that's kinda the overall plan on this here. So, um, you can see here, it's kind of hard to see, actually. Um, let me see if we can just do a maps um, Bali and then do it this way. This is going to show up our town first. Might be a little easier to do it this way, uh, Bali map. Okay, so that's a little bit easier. Um, so Google Earth is a little bit hard to uh, see everything. So we might be able to do change this into this map here and see <coughs> some details. Um, so right here, we can start to see where that little spot was on the main map. So we saw this spot right in here, and there's a couple different roads coming in there. And we can probably just see, and it shows the one-way nature of some of these roads. Um, so actually, probably the big intersection would be right there, right? So let's look at this intersection right here. Zoom in and see what this intersection looks like. So um, it looks like we got a little seafood restaurant here and some other banks, a Bali. And this is a, like, I believe a police station here um, or a security. And it looks like they got some stuff going on there. Um, and if you want, we can actually do this, which is pretty nice these maps you can zoom out a little bit and then we can take ourselves to different points around Bali so let's go to this intersection right there uh, and see where that is what that looks like all right so now we're starting to get some of that 
bally field here with uh, these kind of gates. This is really unusual gates that you only really see in Bali. Um, looks like there's quite a lot of construction going on in here, um, as well as a pretty busy street. Um, let's just look a little bit more detail, see what we can see. Looks like it's pretty high resolution, actually. This is May of 2024, so this is very recently. Um, just a few months ago, um, they got this photos here, and you can see some rooftop apartments and some other things. Now, let's go down a couple more blocks over to here on this side um, and see what that looks like. So this is starting to get closer to the beach, and we start to see a little bit higher buildings here, as well as some weird parking spots. Um, but um, And it starts to get pretty fancy, as you can see. Some of these buildings are getting pretty fancy. And we'll go over to this side here and check that out just to see. Made in Bali. Um, and we even have a Kentucky Fried Chicken over here. So um, anyway, so hopefully that will give you a little bit of a taste. This is perhaps some of the most iconic uh, locations in all of Bali. So um, these streets are probably very familiar to people who travel here often or live in the area. Um, it's, would be say... Um, and we can even kind of move a little bit around here to see what it looks. You can see the electrical lines being pretty heavy on here as well. All right, I'm going to pause this video for a second to give uh, some people to, some time to catch up on the video. Thanks. So we just looked at that section right in there. Um, there's probably some other sections that are worthwhile looking at. Um, again, there's the beach section right on here, and then there's the south beach. But it looks like the road here doesn't really touch the beach. So these are all resorts, uh, presumably, and they've basically taken up all the waterfront property. So there's no longer any visible way to see the oceanfront. So that means that we probably have one spot right in here that we really need to take a careful look at um, to kind of see. So And that looks to be like, so it looks like there's kind of a passageway right in through here, which makes that spot pretty critical as well as kind of the end spot down here so we can kind of see these three locations so those three locations pretty much give us the main viewpoints and then let's do a halfway points um, this is almost a halfway point here so I'm gonna put we'll do like a check there and then we'll check over in here so we'll check the whole front here just to see what the businesses are like right along the beachfront there. So um, I'm gonna exit this one and we're gonna turn off the street view here. If you're not familiar with this, um, and we basically wanna take a look right through here. You can see there's a little river here and, and then you can see where that ending point was, the starting point and kind of the midpoints. So let's just go right to the midpoint um, and see what that would look like. So this road looks a pair of fairly busy road right there, and will drop us right in here. So um, this dropped us pretty close to the beach here, it looks like. Um, and you also see this in Phuket, Thailand, uh, kind of these weird little railings right before the beach. Um, so it's kind of weird. It would be nicer if they actually preserved more of a park um, but the road space is just really tight all around Bali. So you can kind of see, well, this is the midpoint. We'll move over here and see what this looks like. So again, this is May of 2024. So we're really lucky to have these images um, kind of seeing what it looks like really recently. Now let's go back and see what else we can find. That was kind of the midpoint. And let's go down here to this start starting point where it actually says Kuta Beach. And I've actually looked at this before on another uh, video. So they actually got a track on this where you can see the beachfront or you can see the road. Now we're kind of studying the uh, businesses here. So I'm gonna pull in right around there and see if that helps us. So <laughs> this is pretty surprising that they got the Hard Rock Cafe. They also have this in Phuket, Thailand. So it's kind of funny to see uh, some of these American stores uh, but it's actually a pretty popular place. As you can see, they've put quite a lot of money into it, uh, being one of the most important locations 
in all of Bali. So that really raises some interesting questions um, because this is the main beach um, right there. So let's go to the other side, the end of this whole kind of area and see what that looks like. And we'll bring it over to here. So we do see some of these sculptures. You can kind of see that there. And then it looks like they actually even stopped the road there at that point. Um, and scooters being a major way to kind of get around. Uh, and then kind of the beachfront here with a couple different restaurants. Um, but pretty interesting to see. Um, and look at how tight these roads are. And you can see the vegetation just really coming in here. Um, so you actually have some of this kind of vegetation in Florida, uh, but they've cut a lot of it down. Um, so here in Bali, they've kept a lot of that, which is kind of nice to see um, some of the more uh, vegetation areas. So let's go back um, and just make sure that we haven't missed anything here on this diagram. So we just went through here and kind of looked at everything along this side. It might be nice just to get a halfway point <clears throat> right around here, um, just to see what that looks like, um, because it's kind of shows us where the hotels are and the main part of what they're calling CUDA. So let's just make sure we haven't missed anything over there on that side. So, um, so again, uh, we were right here, and then this midpoint would be right around there. So this is the uh, main point here. We'll just grab that here. And hopefully, as you're looking at this, you'll kind of see, um, you know, a lot of these businesses started for about $10,000 or even less. Um, so there's a lot of little businesses right in here. And actually, this looks like um, a nice little spot. You have a little, looks like, um, kind of a mobile business and then you have a bunch of little shops and it looked like it dead ends here but maybe we got the wrong uh, point or something or we picked us slightly off okay it looks like we got an alley here so um, yeah so it is not the road system is nothing like um, typical roads you can see a couple different tourists on the road here um, but um, again this is probably the big beachfront area so we're pointed out towards that way which is basically the beachfront um, I'll move a little bit to see <clears throat> so you can see they got some more security along the beach here which is great um, and then a mini mart and some other stuff so there is a ton of businesses as you can tell uh, with approximately 30 million tourists every year um, there's going to be quite a number of small businesses in the area and the nice thing that i like about Bali is that so many of the businesses are kind of smaller um, and pretty helpful all right so i think that's about ugh, the main area so believe it or not um we just covered a huge portion of Bali. um we just looked at essentially the main, let me grab this here, sorry about this. Um, so we just looked at, we just looked at this whole region right in here, uh, which is essentially the main beach area. Um, so what I would say is that you should go back and take a look at some of these other areas if you really wanted to uh, get into the details. Um, I've diagrammed all the roads out for all the other places so you can kind of see um, essentially how to do that. Uh, on each one of these maps. Um, so there is quite a lot of details. Uh, major roads, as you can see, kind of are more on the inland side. Um, and then these smaller roads with some intersections that definitely should be taken a look at carefully. Uh, so if you really want to get to know Bali, take a look at all these intersections. I'm not going to go through them all. Um, might take a little bit while uh, to do so. but um, And then the dense bar, this is kind of near the downtown capital area. Uh, as you can see a police station logo there and you can see grocery stores as well as military presence down in here with those little tanks um, and there's definitely different roads not necessarily straight roads like you have in flat land so this is very hilly um, in some parts and there's some rivers and different lots of vegetation on all the roads as you did see already this is one of the first roads that got me started on this whole 
journey was this weird one, kind of a passageway between the beach, which is off to, uh, the beach is off that way, and then Dense Bar is kind of off on that way. So this little road was kind of a intermediary road that I was really trying to study carefully, and it really told me a lot about Bali. Um, why don't we try to find that road really quick and maybe close with that road? Um, so we'll go back out here um, and find that road, and I'll show you why that road is so important. So basically that road is right here. I already previously have looked at this. So basically you have the beaches over here, and then you have Dense Bar with this weird kind of small road in between. This is a bigger road heading out, um, but typically you'd have to take this road to get over into um, downtown this bar. So that's why that road is so important. So <clears throat> let's just double check to make sure that we're talking about the same road here, just in case I got confused or something like that. Um, um, where is it? Hmm. Sorry about this. And hmm. it doesn't really show up. Maybe if we zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so you can kind of see this one coming through here. Uh, but we're basically looking for the beach here and the section coming through. Um, hmm. Oh, here it is. So, um,. Basically, it's just south, right? So you have this road right in here. So you have, imagine you're coming up from the area that we just we just kind of checked all this out. And now we're heading over to this part of the basically what should be a busier part of town. Um, and you can see there is quite a lot of other things going on over here, including kind of what they call the capital. Um, yep. So that's the road right here. And we'll just make sure that we got that road here on this. So we'll pull it in here. <clears throat> Let's just look, zoom in a little bit more until we start seeing some businesses here. So it looks like it's actually a two lane road, which is great. Um, let's notice they drive on the left hand side of the road rather than the right. Um, so let's go to this first intersection here and see what that looks like. All right, so this would be a very popular road. Um, pretty much everyone would be laughing at me right now. Probably there's some people in Indonesia maybe even watching this right now. I have some friends on LinkedIn and some other people in Indonesia. Uh, but this is probably pretty obvious to me. This is like all new stuff. Um, but you can see there's like a little bit of a divider in the center here, um, so you can't quite cross over. Um, so let's go back to the map and just go a couple spots along that. Let's go to another halfway point, maybe right in there. Oh, whoa. Maybe I took a side road. Looks like I did. So let's get back on the main road, see what that looks like. Pull this map down. So um, this looks pretty typical. Um, a lot of the YouTube videos that you see on the internet, actually I remember showing this road in particular, now I'm starting to remember this, um, but uh, this is kind of the style of Bali, these kind of newer modern restaurants and newer storefronts, um, which I kind of don't like. I actually prefer the older style a little bit better, um, but you can see that this road plays a major impact on the business transport between the beach and now there's a little bit of a circle here so it's a little bit hard to click there so i'm just going to click on this side of the circle and this is probably a very common you have these out on the east coast of the united states and they're also in london uh, but we have this circle and probably everyone is laughing right now that has been to bali um, has probably seen this little area so gives you a pretty good idea for what this looks like. It looks like you even got a Dunkin' Donuts. So um, what you start to see here is that there's a lot of these uh, American restaurants actually. We saw a Hard Rock Cafe and now we're seeing a Dunkin' Donuts located right here, um, pretty much at the main point of this uh, area going in between. So 
Let's go up a couple more blocks to here and check out this street right in here uh, just to see what that looks like. And so it looks like you got an Apple store here of some sort. Um, and it's looking like um, a lot of people probably went through this already that are looking at business planning and have picked some of these points that we've already looked at. Uh, so what I would highly recommend, um, which is going on in Japan, is that some of these alleys have become, you can actually get really cheap rent on some of these side roads, and sometimes it would be worth investigating some of those side roads just to see like a one block in or something. You might be able to find uh, that it's still zoned for business. Um, let's just check that out really quick. See what that looks like. <clears throat> Maybe we can zoom in and there'll be a little bit of a thing. So it looks like that's not quite what we thought, but it's actually zoned pretty tightly. So this, this little walkway is what they actually went down and it's very tight. So some of these roads may be quite different than what we thought. Um, so um, anyway, so we just looked at quite a bit of Bali. Um, we're kind of heading over into this section here uh, on that road. Um, so basically that's getting to the densest part of Bali. Um, and it may be worthwhile just to do maybe one more check right in here. Um, we may have even already found this area, but let's do a check just to see. You can see a river here, and the problem with this map, though, is that sometimes you can't find where the businesses are. Uh, the houses and businesses sometimes look about the same in Bali, so we'll see what this looks like. So here looks like primarily more of a residential district, and then down below you have some shops. Um, so it's actually really nice over here, too. So... That's what really surprised me about Bali is that even though you're not, excuse me, right on the beach, um, there's quite a lot of little cool little spots um, to check out. Anyway, so hopefully this has helped you understand some details. Um, there's just so much to study when it comes to understanding Bali. So um, try to take a look. We just looked at this whole intersection and kind of went over into downtown this bar. So. Basically, we were looking at this area just then, um, probably near the, and then this is kind of that in-between area that we wanted to take a look at. So there's definitely an area just south of there. So we could have took from the beach, we could have took this way as well. Um, there's also a whole a lot of other stuff going on down on the south side, and I diagrammed that out um, in some of the pictures. Anyways, so uh, hopefully this has been helpful for you. Um, one of the interesting things um, about doing this with Street View around the world is it obviously it was just a few months old and there's the opportunity to look at so many places around the world. I was looking at Tibet um, and some other places in China. Um, sometimes you have to use a different program uh, like Baidu or something else, but um, it's been really helpful to just make some friends and work with people around the world. So I hope this has been helpful for you um, to kind of see what's going on in Bali. It's actually one of the most important tourist places on our entire planet. We don't really have a planet B, so it's probably going to be like this for some time. It's been like this for many, many decades. Um, Bali has been a major tourist attraction. So um, that's, but there's really a whole world out there and I hope this has really helped you out. Thank you so much. See you later.